Welcome to another video. My name is Daniel and let's create a base token. So there are two options if you want to create your own base token. Number one, you can do it without coding and number two, you can do it with coding. Now, before we proceed to the option number one, creating your base token without coding, I want to thank you all for subscribing to this channel. Now, if any of you don't know what base really is or what base network really is, feel free to go to base.org and explore. There is a lot of good information available on this website and you will get to know so much more about the base network. And I personally believe that base network is going to be an absolute game changer when it comes to cryptocurrency because it is literally solving the problems any developer was facing with the Ethereum blockchain on layer one. I'll try to summarize in a nutshell, BASE is built as Ethereum layer two network with the security, stability, and scalability that we need to power our dApps or on-chain applications. So remember a lot of people when they were flipping the NFTs, the price of the NFT used to be $300, whereas the gas fee used to be somewhere around $150. And that actually put everyone who was making profits from NFTs were always complaining about high gas fee. So now that problem is solved with base network as well, because it is 10 times cheaper than network. So previously, if we had to make any small tweak to the smart contract or execute the smart contract, the gas fee used to cost us somewhere around $10, $30, or it can go as high as $150. And I've seen that myself. But now with the base mainnet available, this Ethereum token will cost me somewhere less than $1 or maybe up to $3, depending on the network congestion. But at the moment, the gas fee on base network is dirt cheap. And I think this gives a competition to what Binance Smart Chain or BNB Chain now was back in 2021. It just blew up because there were so many applications and the gas fee was super low. And I think this is exactly what's going to happen with base network as well. So let's go ahead and create our first token. The first option is you can use any third party to create a token on base network without coding. Now there are tons of options available, but Tokepad is one of the most famous options in 2024. It's a simple process. You can literally create your own tokens in less than 40 seconds. And these tokens will be verified on blockchain as well. Something that we will be doing manually in the second option. So just click on start now, connect your wallet. In this case, I will be connecting my MetaMask wallet which is on base network and i do have some ethereum for gas fee as you can see i have 0 0.33 ethereum click on continue select a token name in this case i am going to name it coincraft blueprint which is the name of the course the ticker will be ccb i will be choosing a picture it's a square image works perfectly well the next will be you have to select the supply it can be 21 million, it can be 1 trillion, it can be custom. For this example, I will be going with 100 million. You can choose the supply based on your personal preference and your project dynamics. Now the network available here is base. It's only base network and it will cost you $3 to deploy and $0.1 to trade. Now this is $3 that you don't need to pay if you are going to follow the option number two. But if you're okay paying $3, and if you are looking for a very basic token with no advanced utility, such as buy fee, buy tax, sell fee, sell tax, marketing fee, etc., then I think this option is perfect for you. Simply click continue and you can even select to create a market here as well. You can deposit the Ethereum to create a market. This is basically part of the liquidity pool, which we are not going into right now. So this is how you can create the token without coding using any third party service. Now let's get to option number two, how you can create your base token in a much more fun way. So the first thing you need to do is go to this page. The link is in description. This is my GitHub and this code is publicly available for everyone to use. Simply go ahead, click on Coincraft Blueprint and you will see this piece of code. Go ahead, copy this code. Go to remix.ethereum.org. This is the platform that we will be using to deploy our token on blockchain. So once you're here, the first step is click on create a new file, name the file, what the name of your project is. So in my case, the name of the project is Coincraft Blueprint. After you name the file, you have to select the extension .sol. 
this is to depict that this is a solidity file in which we are compiling so simply go ahead click enter and once you enter you'll be shown a window like this which is totally empty simply paste the code that we have copied from github and now you need to make a few changes i think there are five changes that we need to make first and foremost you will see an error that we are using the wrong version of compiler but don't worry about this is a very basic thing and we'll be fixing this as we proceed the first change that you need to make is Control f and search for name so once you search for a name obviously we have to change the name in this smart contract to the name of your project so on line number 476 you will be able to see contract and name name is in capital you need to replace this name with the name of your project in this case once again the name of my project is coincraft blueprint once again keep searching for name and on line number 545 you will again see name in capitals again the same thing you have to change the name to coin craft blueprint you have to change the name to your project name in my case it's coin craft blueprint and right next to the name you can see symbol so here you can select the symbol of your project in my case it is going to be ccb perfect the first thing is done now we need to go ahead and change the setting number two so search for zero x so you will see three options the first one will be the uniswap router v2 so in case you are trying to launch your token on uniswap v2 then do not change this but if you are looking to launch your token on any other router or any other decentralized exchange that can be pancake swap or any other decentralized exchange you need to update this to that specific router most of the projects will be using uniswap v2 so i have by default selected uniswap v2 router address in this case if you're okay with this just proceed to the other wallet address in your smart contract now i have separated the marketing wallet address and dev wallet address for the fee that will be coming in from the trading volume you can select the same wallet address or you can select a different wallet address this totally depends on your personal preference just for example i will be changing the wallet address here for marketing i'll be selecting the wallet address of my metamask wallet and i will be changing the developer wallet address here copy and paste and as you can see the developer wallet address is changed so any fee for the developer will be coming to this wallet address so you need to make sure that you select the right wallet address for marketing and for development. Change number three will be supply. So just go ahead, search for supply. And you might have to search a couple of times till you reach line number 568. This is where you will be setting the total supply of your project. By default, this is set as 1 million. This is one and six zeros, one E6. I'm not great with maths, but I assume this is one million. It has six zeros. Now, in case you want to make it 100 million, you will be changing the six to seven. In case you want to make it to one billion, you will be changing it to eight. In my case, I want to mint one billion tokens, one billion CCB tokens. So I will change it to eight. You can change it according to your project dynamics and the supply you want to have for your project. Now, once you change the supply, the next part you need to change here is called fee. So you can just search for F double -E -S or fees and it will get you to line number 575 where you can select the individual buy marketing fee, buy liquidity fee, developer fee, etc. and similar for sell transactions. So I've tried my best to separate all of these fee or taxes in a smart contract for whatever reason you want to use it. For example, if you want to use just for marketing, you can just select the buy fee on marketing, sell fee on marketing. If you want the fee to go to liquidity pool or developer wallet, etc., it totally depends on you. So marketing fee in my case will be one. The liquidity fee in my case on buy transaction will be one. And the developer fee on buy transaction, again, I will keep it to one. This will give me a total buy fee of three, which is decent. Same thing I will do for sell. I will keep it one. And again, one. And lastly, I will keep the developer fee at one as well. So this will give me a net 3% on buy transaction and 3% on sell transactions. 
out of this 3%, one will be going to the marketing wallet, one will be going to developer wallet, and 1% will go to the liquidity pool. Now, I believe after changing this setting, most of you will be done because all of the other functions and all of the other settings are very standard ones to which you can make changes even after deployment of this token as well. But if you want to change, for example, things like the maximum ceiling for buy fee or sell fee, you can just search for it in the code. And for instance, on line number 641 and 642, you will be able to set the maximum ceiling of what the buy fee and what the total sell fee can be. In this case, I have set it at 10% and I will recommend everyone to keep it under 10% or maximum 10%. This gives a good reputation to your project when it comes to investors because they always see what is the maximum buy fee or what is the maximum sell fee a developer can set. If it's high, definitely the investors will not be investing. They will not be buying your project. So once you're done with all of these changes, just make sure everything looks good. And once you're done with this, simply go to the compiler section, which says Solidity Compiler, click here and select the right compiler program. In our case, it is 0.8.9. And here we will be selecting 0.8.9. Here we go. And as you can see, that error is gone. Once you are done with this, click on Advanced Configuration, select Enable Optimization, click on Compile CoinCraft Blueprint, and let's see if we have any errors. Great, we don't see any errors whatsoever and the code has compiled successfully. So the next step is deployment. Once you are here, click on Remix, click on the injector provider. In my case, I will be using MetaMask Wallet, as you can see here, I have my MetaMask wallet connected, which is on base mainnet, and it does have some Ethereum to pay the gas fee. So once the environment is selected, make sure you are in the right wallet, because if you have multiple accounts on your MetaMask wallet or any other Coinbase wallet you're using, just make sure it's the right one. The last step will be using the right file. So in my case, this is CoinCraft Blueprint and then CoinCraft Blueprint.Sol, which is the solidity file that I'm using. Now I'll be going ahead, spending a few dollars to compile this just for this video. So make sure to give thumbs up to this video, subscribe to the channel so that I can keep creating these videos for you guys. Click on deploy. And once you click on deploy, it will tell you the gas fee. So this is remarkable because previously an Ethereum token would cost us somewhere around $10 to $30 just for deployment. Now it has decreased to 0.7 cents, which is insane. So once you are done with this, click on continue. And as we can see, the transaction is done. Copy the transaction hash from here and search for base explorer. Go to base explorer, paste the transaction hash here. And we can see the newly minted CoinCraft Blueprint tokens successfully deployed on the blockchain now click here as you can see the age is 35 seconds ago so these are minted just now for this video the first step from here will be copying this smart contract address going to your metamask wallet clicking on import tokens pasting the token smart contract address here and this will automatically fetch the details of your newly minted base tokens click on next import and now you can see the tokens that you have created are in your MetaMask wallet to use. Step number two will be verifying the smart contract so you can create a market or you can create a liquidity pool and your token can be traded on any decentralized exchange. To do that, go to contract in your smart contract, click on verify and publish, select the compiler. In our case, it was Solidity single file. Next, we'll be selecting the compiler. Now, in my case, it was 0.8.9. Go ahead, select 0.8.9. And next will be selecting the open source license. In this case, it is MID license, which is number three. Select the MID license, click on continue. You will go select optimization to yes. Go back to Remix where we compiled the code, copy the code. Go back, paste the code here and click on verify and publish. Now this might take a couple of seconds to verify, but let's see if we can verify this smart contract without any errors. 
the smart contract is verified on the blockchain and this can be traded on any decentralized exchange now let's go see the tokens and now you can see the contract source code is verified you can see this green ticker here as well as here so now you can go ahead and make changes to any settings that you want you need to connect your wallet now if you want to make any changes to stuff like the buy fee the sell fee etc simply go to write contract connect your metamask wallet which is the developer wallet or the owner wallet in this case simply select the setting that you want to make change to for example in this case i want to show you how to update the fee so you will go to update fee and from here you can make the changes to the fee for example if i want to change the buy fee for marketing to two instead of one in the original contract we selected it to be one i can make it two here and then i will click on write and this will be automatically deployed the change will be made on the blockchain and from here onward if the trading begins the marketing buy fee will be two percent you can make changes to whatever setting you want to make change based on your personal preference based on the requirement of the smart contract so this is how you can create your own base token i hope this video was useful if you still haven't enrolled yourself for coincraft blueprint make sure to check it out it's free of cost to enroll and you can just go ahead watch a few videos enjoy the lectures and then make a decision if you want to enroll full time or not or if you're interested in knowing how the crypto rug pulls really happen behind the scenes how are these scammers are able to scam for millions of dollars and vanish without leaving a single trace then definitely go ahead check out decoding crypto rug pulls once again the preview lectures are absolutely free for you to enroll do check these out and as part of the deal i provide 100 percent money back guarantee no questions asked once again thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one